Hi Capricorn and welcome to your June 1st through the 15th reading by Josie K. I'm Josie K and this is Josie K Tarot. I have prayed over the cards and blessed them with my stones and am just about ready to begin. Dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless these cards so that Capricorn may receive the most clear and decisive readings and advice for June 1st through the 15th, 2016. Thank you. <clears throat> also, I want to say that I am no longer doing free readings. I think 80 some was enough and it's going to take me forever to catch up and I go back to work on June 1st. So I'm going to do the best that I can to get to each and every one of you. I'm doing maybe two or three and four if I'm lucky because those who pay, uh, they want to be read first, which only makes sense. So I'm just one person and I'm doing the best I can. Um, as far as re free readings, I will be in touch with you when they are coming up. They are no longer available, okay? What is available is a $10 one question reading, a $20 text reading via email, or a uh, $30 uh, video reading via, via email. So those are the options. Feel free to contact me even if you don't. Uh, need to order something let me know how I'm doing if things are connecting with you you may email me either way for a reading or not at josiek42 at gmail.com thank you now the first cup you are receiving which is usually on your mind is the knight of cups wanting to race in and offer passion that's something on your mind in the near future maybe it was some sort of fire sign you were thinking of Sagittarius Aries Sagittarius Aries or Leo Sun Moon or rising male or female okay you're wanting to be like the devil you're wanting to play could be a sexual addiction drinking addiction shopping addiction gambling addiction whatever it is you have a lot of passion going on and in the re recent past you had a queen of fire come in and um, make something exciting um, maybe you talked about getting together and sharing a place or maybe this is your spouse or significant others wanting to get a house that's the foundation of the things you are working towards in the near future you receive the six of wands this shows you hopping on a horse and gallivanting through a big crowd of people who are saying congratulations you have reached victory there is a three of swords here for some God awful reason I cannot understand, um, but maybe we can clarify. Those around you are sitting on an unhappy, sad foundation. Looks like it may be an earth sign. I don't know if it's you or someone who else is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Um, you are racing towards that person to try and maybe ooh, offer a path, okay? with the two of wands now is the time to make this decision the reading closes with the ace of swords now aces are always a great beginning I mean it slices right through and gets to the point and moves you to the next area especially this card it is a double-edged sword therefore it has two sides to it meaning it has a side of passion love and things to look forward to and a side that has to do with pain okay so, pardon me here, I'm just trying to keep all of this organized. And plug in my computer, that is going to close on me. So, there's where we're at. We ended with that path, there's a brand new path we're looking at. You know what, maybe I'm going to build off of that card a little more with the same deck, which is, by the way, the Gilded Tarot deck, I believe. Gilded Tarot deck, which is right here. Okay, <laughs> so we got this path we're thinking about. In the recent past, you felt like a princess, were surrounded with your most wonderful things. You're starting to feel like the high priestess where you can create that which you'd like with regards to maybe money or to offering money or giving to a charity. That's, this is all on a foundation of giving love, giving love, giving charity. This is the Seven of Swords saying... you're trying to get away from something you're trying to grab the few things that you have access to and you're trying to just walk away 
someone around you is saying, uh-uh, I don't like that idea, okay? Your hopes and fears is that you will continue to either re continue to receive these this money or to be able to still offer to others. And your outcome card is the Page of Pentacles, Earth sign. News of them coming towards you, offering something, maybe a news of a new job or a new project or something really exciting in the money area, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, meaning probably you yourself. Here comes a fire sign racing in to see you, actually racing with you together, thinking about what it is that you are still trying to think about. Is it right? Is it wrong? Then you get the justice card. That is the question. Is it right or is it wrong? Well, you're waiting for the answer to come in. The ship that someone's going to get off that ship and tell you, I am a leader. I have things organized and structured. I will help you figure out the, figure out the way. And then you have judgment. Therefore, everything gets handed back to you. These choices are fully up to you. It's your life path. Nobody's telling you what to do either way. You can walk away. You can come. You can go. You can dance. You can whatever. Okay? You are the star. You're the star of your path. Shine upon it with great things. Remember that when you're around others, if you have to make decisions that affect others, that you do them in an honest, correct way. We all know deep inside what that means. And be and just be straight up and and then move on to whatever it is that you need to move on to. And when I said move on, I looked at the bottom deck, a card of the deck, and saw the tower. This means an ending of something. Time to rebuild. Okay. So, moving on to the gateway to the Divine Tarot. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless Capricorn with clearly defined messages with regards to their path, especially for the time of June 1st through the 15th of 2016. Hmm. Somebody's been talking. Talking schmack. Okay, at least that's what you're thinking, all right? In the recent past, you had a whole bunch of stuff, beautiful things, your cup floweth over. Yeah, you were the empress and or the empress. You have these brand new beautiful paths you are starting. You are working diligently to make sure that they are done beautifully and correctly. As you move into the future, you are feeling pressured and overwhelmed. You have the choice and the decision about what to do about a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. Those around you want to see things come to an end so that new things can start. And your hopes are that you will have control over your atmosphere, the things that are happening around you, and that you will be able to meditate and to create manifest you have the map in your hand in one hand you have the I always forget what they're called in the other hand with the seeds to create and plant and the owl with wisdom over your head okay so this shows you walking towards that which you manifest romanticizing the past Wanting to go the sneaky way. Don't do that. Temper, temper. Slow yourself down. Get control over everything in your mind. Be structured, focused, organized, stern when people come to you with these issues. You want to be full of love. You want to offer love. Look at all these different paths you may choose from. Those paths will come in the correct timing. Do not accidentally grab out for one and disrupt God's timing. There will be a new path. You will be resurrecting something. You just need to make sure that it's correct. And then you will move towards something or they will move towards you. I think towards a new someone offering you money or you being able to land something that provides you with money. Either way, you've been working really, really hard. You want to put down your wand. You want to start romanticizing about maybe some other ideas that have to do with work or love. You're pausing. You're getting recognition. 
you're pausing and thinking, you're celebrating, someone's going to put their foot down, your ship is coming in, justice is coming, you just can't make up your mind, can't sleep at night, sadness, 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 how much do you want to take? Well, the Nine of Wands. Knight of Wands is racing in that Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising and offering faith and good fortune, strength, and a happily ever after with more than you need. Okay? Well, that all sounds very nice. So, there are pluses and minuses to every situation. It is important to look around us and to remember our cups that are flowing over and to not fantasize too much and put things in our head that we are going to follow in an area that may take from what we had before. And then to have to go back and build that back up and become that again and to find your joy sometimes takes a very long time. So Capricorn, I'm going to just take a couple cards from the Rider Waite deck Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless this reading so that we may receive clearly defined messages for Capricorn for June 1st through the 15th of 2016. There's some choice that has to be made. There's a gift being offered sometimes by others. In this particular case, it could be by you or another Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. Okay, at this point, it looks like you may be walking away from a lot of cups that you spent a lot of time with, set, setting them all up like that. You're leaving that project behind. You are on the foundation at this point in your future with this fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. And this in your future means either maybe a wedding or something that has to do with something at work. You may have won the battle but have you won the war? Those around you have the strength maybe to help you with the choices you need to make balance in your life because there will be some battles and there needs to be justice and all of this work has been done. Stay away from people who may be from your past, may be the same sign as you, or Taurus, or Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Look back at the hard path you've chosen. Celebrate. Ten of coins again. Sitting well with money. I'm sure that sounds good with the Taurus. All right. I'm going to ask the angel cards from Doreen Virtue to please bless us with some angel advice. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless these cards so that we may receive clear and definite messages for Capricorn for June 1st through the 15th of 2016. Well, Archangel Raziel says you have the magician. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest. Life is magical. You can manifest. And the Ten of Water says, content and rewarding family. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. If that's what you want, that's what you will have. I've seen the strength card now. I don't know how many times. This one is Archangel Ariel. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments and have for forgiveness and compassion. Enjoy life's little luxury. Spending quiet time alone or successful self-employment. Objective decision-making, clearing all away that no longer serves you, and then seeing the humor of the situation. Archangel Haniel says that you have important insights with this moon card that we saw about three times. Release the fears that hold you back, okay? There's good news about finances, gifts, like I said, successful time in your life, and a celebration, a wedding graduation or birth announcement, with, which could happen at this point in time because it's spring. You have a need to have more fun, and I agree. Go out and have more fun and be the star. 
Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You are on the right path. Therefore, Archangel Jophiel is saying, you're doing the right thing. Stick to those choices. Move forward on your path, and you will continue to be the sun. And I can go on and on. Sun says happy outcome. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. And that's key, I think, to this reading, is to have confidence in yourself. Okay? You'll be successful no matter what. Archangel Sandalphon just jumped out with number five, unity, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, and to seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So maybe that's a part of trying to get some of the answers you need, whether it's business or relationship. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless this reading so that we may be able to get clearly defined messages for Capricorn for June 1st through the 15th of 2016. And you got Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open up to greater love. I will help you to release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. So, forgiveness, compassion. Spend time with a lot of friends. Figure out what your next goal is going to be. Um, make sure that you know who it is you want to love. And if you're not with them now, you should go after them because that's who is, who is intended to be on your path. If you're unsure, ask them. Thank you so much for asking me to do your reading. There's so many out there to choose from. And for all of your support. I really, really hope to see you again soon. Hopefully by the second half of June, Capricorn. Have a nice month.